We are not going asking if we are ready. Let's start it. Presenting the fight number one. Matic Pranic, Slovenia versus Stefan Stanic, Slovenia. And the referee in the ring, Mr. Mladen Krančec. Let's do our job. We are presenting the first opponent, Matic Pranic, Slovenia. Stefan Stanich. And uh, let's look at the tail of the tape. Why don't we? This is a cruiserweight fight, 85 kilograms. There's some big boys here who are beginning their, their professional career in the world of kickboxing. Well, yeah, they have some. Well, they have some uh, amateur experience, but uh, yeah, they're beginning their careers as practically their debuts, although Pranic also already has a fight, a professional fight. He does have one fight, he's 1-0, and so he's hoping to uh, continue that winning streak of his. And Stefan looking to start his career with a, a big victory. Stefan Armatis is 21 years old, he's 184 centimeters. Uh, there's really not a height advantage between these two fighters. Yeah, they're quite evenly matched. Like, if you look at the score or the tail of the tape, they're really equally matched. So, you as a professional fighter, when you're making your debut, yeah? yeah. What, what, what are you trying to do in the ring? You, you go ball to the wall, gung-ho, or uh, you, you try to feel out your opponent? Well, it depends on the psychology of a fighter, but uh, it's also important if a, a fighter is uh, nervous or too afraid or not afraid enough. That can also be the problem. So some fighters just rush in, go all out because maybe they are scared, afraid to get hit, and that can really uh, haunt them later in the fight. Uh, so we will see how we'll, how both of them will react. You I remember, you, you remember your first fight as a professional? Yeah, I remember my first fight. Uh, I fought in, in Fiesta in Italy. Uh, I was, I think, 16 or 17 years old. Um, I wasn't really experienced I, in total, I believe I have. I had like seven fights or eight fights and this other, this other guy was uh, heavier than me. There was no way in. <laughs> he came in heavier, like five kilos heavier. He was older. He had a lot, about 40 fights. Wow. So I just moved a lot and it was a five round fight. I just moved a lot. I hit him more than he hit me, but um, he was the more ag aggressive guy, so I lost. <laughs> Now we are here in Cobra, Slovenia. It's my first time in Slovenia. You are Slovenian. It's a beautiful yeah. little city. Yeah, it's, it's a great little country. I don't get to see much of it. We're usually working so hard, preparing. Uh, but it's on the coast. Uh, it's a beautiful view. Uh, the weather hasn't been so nice to us. Yeah, because this it's the, in the beginning, <laughs> beginning of the autumn <laughs> and it's just some kind of rainy season going on. 184 centimeters, one fight, one win. So, zero losses. And we are introducing his opponent coming for Red Corner, Stefa Stanic, Slovenia. So here comes Stefan Stanic now. So let's quickly go over W5 rules because there can be some slight differences to other kickboxing organizations. Uh, there is no hitting behind the head or the spine, which is normal. If you do clinch, you're allowed one knee. If you grab a leg, you're allowed one punch that you have to break. There's no elbows involved. And pretty much outside of that, you know, standard boxing rules, kickboxing rules, no kidney punches, no rabbit punches. It's pretty much gung-ho. Have fun, go in there and do your job. These are uh, the rules that create a lot of action. Yeah. We have to say that. Because, no twisting yeah. or throwing, which, mind you, I've noticed a lot with a lot of the younger fighters that also partake in Mai Tai. And they tend to come in, they get in the clinching situation, emotions take over. Stephen yeah, Stanis. Exactly. Stephen Stanis is his first appearance in professional kickboxing. This is Legends Collide!
So we're right now waiting for the official introductions of Vlad and Kranj, which is the referee in the ring for the first fight. Uh, and we'll be on our way. Just waiting for the fighters now to meet in the center of the ring. So we currently are witnessing a, a delay of some sorts. And we'll try and figure out what's going on. So anyway, I'm saying we are in the beautiful city of uh, Kobra, Slovenia. We got 14 fights, 10 Slovenian fighters tonight. Uh, we got a host of sponsors. Just give a shout out to Harley Davidson, Welcome Spa for Men, ABP Sport, uh, E3, uh, and Radio Capri, who was uh, doing a lot of uh, radio posts for us. Yakipa SN, which is a big sports yes, newspaper Yakipa, here. Sports here. Yakipa. Yakipa. Yeah. Uh, Fight Madness this is and fight. a host of others. Number one, three rounds for three minutes. Here we go. Our first fight is about to get underway. Stefan is in the W5 black trunks. Mattis is in the black and orange trunks, blue gloves. These are W5 gloves. They're our second tournament. We're using them. Uh, great gloves. I just tried them on in, in the locker room. You like them? Yeah, I like them. So straight aim, uh, Mattis comes out with that inside low kick. kick. And very aggressive. Very aggressive. Nice combinations of the body. And you can see Stefan right away, very bouncy. Mattis very uh, calm and poised. Yeah, he's looking for openings. A great knee by, by uh, Pranic. Does uh, Stefan look a little jittery in there? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Sometimes you need that one good shot to the head to kind of just, you know, it's just like any other fight I've been in. It just wakes you up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice oh, great right, right by hand. Stefan. Yeah. Mattis tries to answer back with a right hook. There's a nice right jab by Stefan. Mattis grabs Stefan with a nice knee into the midsection. Big shots landed in the first round already. Big shots and good counters. Yeah. You know, those counters are very important. That's when you catch your opponent off guard. And good combinations. The good typical kickboxing uh, strategy, you know? One, two, end with that, with that low kick. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what great. a big right by Stefan. Good straight leg kick by Stefan. He landed a huge right. Mattis didn't even budge, though. Kind of shows you the chin Mattis might have in this fight. Yeah, he took that shot r really well. But I think uh, Stanic is uh, technically more sound than, than Pranic. Good high kick by Stefan, partially blocked by Mattis. Mattis put his head down though and took a knee into the chin. Stefan starting to take control of this fight, actually. And this is his debut fight. And you see his, his jumping around has calmed down significantly since the first 20 seconds. He seems to be getting more comfortable in the middle of the ring, Stefan is. Yeah, and uh, Pranic's uh, attack has a little wane, a little bit, just yes. a little bit. Good right by Stefan again. You are allowed one knee on a clinch. That's it. Great combination again. Maladin, a no-holds-barred referee. He will uh, not let. He will not put up with anything inside the ring. Good defense by Matis right there. Stefan throwing a lot, but Matis doing a good job of blocking it. It looks pretty on tape. You, you can see uh, the technical difference beginning to show because... Uh, Good right uh, there by Mattis as Stefan uh, put his head down. Pranic's uh, punches are a little bit wider and yeah. he creates openings for Stanic to counter. Great low kick again and again. So Stefan really nice doing a good job of mixing up his, uh, his strikes between his punches and his kicks which is a great technique. I've seen a lot of fighters. We'll see what happens in the second round here. We've got about two minutes left. Uh, all right, that's the end of the first round. The clock on the TV is a bit off. But what I will say is one of the things that 
One of the things that we have to obviously uh, look at here in the second round is I've noticed this a lot out of the Eastern European fighters is that either when they get frustrated or as you start getting later rounds, they tend to concentrate on boxing. Now, I haven't really seen too many Slovenian fighters so far in my career, but I've seen a lot of Slovakian, Serbian, Croatian, Russian, and they tend to go more towards the boxing side. Yeah, but they have good or maybe even great boxing schools. That's yeah, no doubt about but that. There were no really great Slovenian boxing fighters as of now, except for uh, Zavitz, who was the world champion. So uh, they tend to, to use a lot of kickboxing or even Taekwondo techniques. And there were a lot of gyms in the 90s that were practicing that. And there are a lot of Taekwondo and kickboxing schools in Slovenia. Here we go, second round. We'll see what what the uh, both fighters come out differently and do do differently. Sorry about that. Um, here in the second round, we'll see if any of them go more to a boxing or if they stick to the nice mix that they were showing in the first round. Well, Stefan here, I think, has the advantage coming into this round. I think he won. Nice, good uh, right uppercut, uppercut in yeah. the body. Good right, left by Mathis. That one, that one seems like it stunned Stefan a little bit. I don't think it stunned him like knock me down. It's maybe knocked the wind out of him. Yeah, just made him made him think. Yeah. Also, yeah. But Stanich is looking for the left hook all the time, the left hook and the low kick combination. Nice high kick again by Stanich. Blocked nicely by Mattis. So Mattis here so far early on doing a good job of blocking in the second round. He looks a little bit fresher. Stanich, uh, Stefan really took a shot. And he sees now, oh, nice body shots by Oh, again, great, a great counter right by, by Stanich. There's Stanich with a great body shot. Nice straight leg kick to the head by Stanich. Consider, considered the most disrespectful move in kickboxing. Yeah. A straight leg kick to the face, especially when you land it. But it's hard to block it. You know, it can go in between the guard. Good overhand right by Stefan. You see him go straight down and block that body. He knew that knee was coming in. And I think that's actually what caught him early in the second round. Yeah, it did. Matic Branic has a good right knee. Yeah. It just intercepts uh, Stanic got coming in. And both fighters here, uh, very tall, about 185 each. And you can see that they're both looking for that inside game. It's one of the things I like about even tall kickboxers versus boxing. A lot of boxers, they'll try and if they have that reach, stay on the outside. Kickboxers, they're usually very good, very versatile inside and out. Stefan right now landing a couple good shots on Mattis. Oh, I'm oh. just missing a big right uppercut. That was lights out if you would have landed that one. That was that a one. haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan just missing the money shot by inches. Mattis looking a little slow on those punches now. Mattis looking tired. You can see it in his face. And those punches and kicks now have slowed down all of a sudden here in the, in the later part of the second round. Minute left here in round number two. Stefan still looking fresh. He overcame that knee to the midsection. Yeah, he's working good with his right oh, kick. Oh, he can turn his back. Big yeah. mistake, never turn your back. That could be very dangerous, but uh, Pranic didn't take advantage of it. Stanich is moving good again. He was just a little bit stationary for a second. That is not going to be a knockdown. He was up in the air, but he did take a shot. Oh, it is they a knockdown. They are calling a knockdown. And that could be crucial. I'm not sure that I, I, I'll let the ref call that one, but he was up in the air. Yeah. And it, it's hard to tell if that was an off balance uh, fall. We're going to look over here on the replay. I think it was a balance shot. Well, it was a right shot. It was a hard yeah. right jab straight to the eye. So he landed a perfect shot. There's no doubt about it. But the question is, is uh, being up in the air, you know, there was no place for him to go but down. Exactly. And that's a tough call. That's yeah. a very subjective call by the referee. In kickboxing or uh, other uh, contact sports, except for boxing, it's very hard to call it to call a knockdown when somebody is in the air or like he's kicking and the other guy just hits him and he's not hurt, but he falls down. So what to do? We'll see it probably here. So there's that straight leg kick by Mathis and missing a big left here. Let's see if we got, I want to see this uh, knockdown. Ah, 
I will say for two young fighters, both very, uh, very good form and poise. <laughs> Fortunately, no, not. we're not going to get to yeah. see it. A controversial knockdown, in my opinion. We'll see what happens here. Oh, here it there is. There it is. That uh -oh, does no. not look, look like a no, knockdown. No. That looked more like a push. Wasn't even a punch. It was more of a push. Yeah. The final round. A definitely a tough call. Good right by Matis as he opens up the third round. Stan, Stefan came in, tried to land a shot, left himself open, took a right. But I'm really, so the mouthpiece went out. Uh, I'm really surprised by the level of skill those guys have, these guys have shown today. For young fighters, yeah. yes. What do we got, 21, 22, good left by Mattis. Oh, oh what a big right, right by Stefan. Mattis again not phased. Stefan's landing a lot of good shots, but not so many of the hard shots that might be having the effect that they would on a third, in a third round like this. Good right by Stefan, right on the forehead. A good clean shot. I think he has to go for a knockdown at least. He has. He needs yeah. a knock. He's, he's lost this fight, and you see he's quite aggressive. Good and right great, again. Great right hand. Another right. And I'll tell you right now, Matis is tired. Matis is tired. If Stefan keeps the pressure on, he might get a counter, but he might have a good chance of knocking Matis down or out. And he's looking. He's got about a minute and a half left. He's landing the big shots. Good knee by Stefan. Stefan definitely has the chance. He's landing the shots. He just needs a real big one right now. He's landing great shots, bud, but Pranic has a great chin also. Maybe, maybe Ma he needs maybe Stefan needs to push my Oh! Big left uppercut! Huge! Huge left uppercut! Stefan needs to push him into the corner, maybe come in with a knee. Exactly. He's going uh, back. Another too big much. right uppercut. Right. Mott is taking it. We're talking huge uppercuts here. Stefan and needs to go forward. Because, push him, Stefan. Push him. Because he, he can get a knockdown if, Another he, if left. he becomes again aggressive. Yeah, there it is. There's yeah. the corner. There's the knee. And Matish doing the smart thing by tying him up right now. Matish looking wobbly, looking tired. It's Stefan's fight, but he's got 30 seconds to win it. So I give Stefan round number one. Yeah, I and I'm round. giving him this round. Also. And so. a knockdown in round two. We got a fourth round coming up, in my opinion. But Matish is not, is not ready for a fourth round, that's for sure. Yeah, th I think the momentum uh, is on Stanich's side. And Matish just doesn't have any power. Even that, that jab, oh. that was a knockdown. There's just no power in his punches here. He started losing it somewhere around the middle of the second round. Yeah, and most of the punches, he was just slapping them. Yeah. More than uh, slapping and pushing, not really those hard shots. Stefan deserves shots. this victory. He's been the more energetic. He's been uh, the more consistent uh, fighter for three rounds. I don't think that was a knockdown, but unfortunately, in the knockdown, it's the 10-8 round automatically. Yeah, so we have a draw, probably. Right, which gives After us the next round. Rounds, yeah. Ten seconds left. There's going to be no knock. Oh, oh no great right by Stefan, baby. Matish is wobbly. The round is over. I didn't hear the bell ring. Yeah, neither, did I. neither have I. Did he stop the fight? But I don't understand, did he stop the fight or was the bell ring? I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're going to find out if we hear the words TKO from Gasper. I can't believe he would have stopped the fight with two seconds left. Nice, there's that knee that by uh, Stefan. Beautiful knee on the chin. He had two big uppercuts. Matish is absolutely gassed. Uh, if they stopped it two seconds before the end of the fight, it will be like Chavez and Taylor. The, they would the be great. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. he, he, was, he was taking a beating, but he still was blocking. He just wasn't even throwing. Yeah, yeah. The sad part is, is that knockdown. That knockdown, if you give a tie in the first round, by chance, if they tied it in the first round, not just comes out the winner. Yeah, and uh, Stanich should win, I believe. I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's a referee's call, so it's irreversible, right? Well, W5 does have an appeals process. So if, uh, if a fighter does not agree with a ruling, they feel that there was a mistake, 
it is very possible for any of the fighters to uh, file an appeal within 24 hours after a fight. And we actually do send from uh, usually around five different video camera views. We'll send it to three different judges uh, independently, and we'll let them watch that and make their own decision. And that's a great note. Yes, so we do, we, W5 yeah. does have that system in place. We actually had a controversial fight in Croatia, Dubrovnik, uh, between uh, Nicholas Semes and Theo Mikelic. Mikelic won, uh, and it was a split decision, and the refs, the refs called it as a split decision. Uh, the second... And uh, this unfair. was fight number one. We have decision. And... Well, you have to give the decision to... Uh, Sorry, you have to give it to, uh, to Mattis. The winner <laughs> is so. by unanimous decision in the red corner, okay. Stefan Stani! It's virtually impossible. I, I'm not really sure about this mathematics that went on well, right now, but... Uh, the only thing you can do is yeah. that you give Stefan the first round 10-9. It was close enough, it's only 10-9. But the third round, Stefan might have pushed him around enough that they gave him a 10-8 even without maybe a Maybe that, maybe that. that. That could be a reasoning for, for yeah. giving him the decision, right? Because clearly we all know that Matt just took a 10-8 uh, round in round number two. I have seen a knockdown where uh, the supervisor has waved off the knockdown, but that obviously didn't happen. We would have saw that inside the ring from the referee that it was not a knockdown. So there you have it, Stefan Stanek with his first victory by unanimous decision, and not just trying to go to one and one. We can give big warm applause for Stefan Stanic. So congratulations, Stefan Stanis put on a great show, landed some big shots, uh, very, uh, very con conditioned very well, and yeah, very poised. Very poised, very conditioned, uh, his stamina was great, uh, he was uh, constantly landing big shots, and uh, he was uh, pressing the action in the third round, he so landed more, more kicks. Continues.